Disclaimer, these videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Messines, located in Messines, France, during what was known as the Race to the Sea, from the 12th of October through the 2nd of November, 1914. The French and German front lines have been trading back and forth in their attempt to go further north than their enemy. The goal was to turn their opponent's flank and to envelope their lines. By October 6th, the British were called in by the French to help withstand German assaults around Lille. The British Expeditionary Force responded and began moving from Eisney to Flanders. The British 1st and 2nd Cavalry Divisions, under the command of General Edmund Allenby, stretched between St. Omer and Hasenbrock and acted as a defense for the 3rd Corps to advance eastwards towards Lille. There they approached a line of hills approximately 400 feet above sea level that comprised of a bunch of hilly spurs. The British forces found themselves opposed by the German 4th Cavalry Corps composed of three divisions defending those hills. The British were able to approach the hills in a dismounted fashion from the west and utilized artillery to help to push the Germans out of their positions in these hills, along with several other locations along the Messines push. The British forces had settled in on the Messines Ridge after the initial fighting. They had suffered severe damage and were left vulnerable to a German attack on the left flank of the British 1st Cavalry Division, commanded by Major General Beauvoir de Lille. As the Germans pushed forward, the Germans were able to push the 3rd Brigade of the 2nd British Cavalry Division out of their position at Courtwild, forcing them to withdraw to Hollaback Chateau. Unfortunately, this partial retreat was signaled all along the lines as a general retreat, resulting in the British retreating into confusion. Lieutenant General Sir Hubert Gow, however, saw the mistake and quickly ordered his men to move back to their original positions, attacking the Germans who had just taken them and quickly pushing those Germans back yet again. The attack succeeded with little loss of life, giving the British a quick breath of relief. Additional attacks occurred up and down the area, but were minor compared to the assault by the German 26th Württemberg Division, who began its assault on October 30th at 4.30 a.m. The assault on Messines Ridge became intense house-to-house -house fighting as the British were outnumbered by 6,000 Germans to their 900 cavalry. After being forced out, the British cavalry was reinforced by additional troops and engaged the whole of the 6th Bavarian Division. The fighting subsided when casualties on both sides were very high, reducing most of the units involved in the shadows of their previous strength. The Germans stopped their assault as they were badly injured and were forced to wait for reinforcements. The front became stagnant at this point, and in the month of November 1914, the Western Front had shifted from a war of movement to a war of trenches. From this point forward on the Western Front, both sides would only be able to fight with frontal assaults, hoping to find a weak point. This would set up the rest of the war on this front to be one of the most horrific war experiences that any soldier has suffered in history. There are no official records for losses for either side during these slew of skirmishes and assaults. The casualties were high enough to reduce many units to less than 50% ready though, and this would just be the beginning hallmark of the horrific war yet to come. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War Edition. <laughs>